The Promax range of pumps are specifically designed to power filtration systems or feed waterfalls and watercourses. The pump contains two internal motors which feed one main outlet via a water distributor located inside the casing. The two motors can be individually switched on and off using the supplied remote control. The overall pump flow rate can also be altered using the remote control. Adjusting the flow rate will also control the power consumption of the pump. So in colder periods, when higher water flow is not required, energy savings can be achieved. Having twin motors means the inlet of one motor can be connected to a skimmer or a satellite strainer, allowing the pump to draw water from two places in the pond at the same time. The Promax pumps are solids handling of particles up to 8 mm in diameter and the large wraparound strainer casing means very low maintenance requirements on these pumps. Oaza offer a five-year request guarantee on the Promax pump range. Installation. Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarize yourself with the product and the accessories. Cut down the outlet stepped hose tail to the desired size. We recommend using 2-inch diameter hose with the Promax pumps to ensure the maximum possible flow rate. Push the hose tail through the retaining nut. Push the hose tail onto the hose and secure with a hose clip. Screw the retaining nut onto the pump outlet. If you are using a skimmer or satellite strainer, this should be connected to one of the motor inlets. Remove the screws from the top of the strainer casing and remove the top half of the casing. Remove one of the blanking caps to allow access to the inlet of one motor. Cut down the stepped hose tail to the desired size and push through the retaining nut. Push on the hose, then insert the white flat gasket into the retaining nut and screw onto the motor inlet. Secure with a hose clip. Replace the top half of the casing and screw back into place. Attach a cord to the strainer casing to facilitate removal of the pump for maintenance purposes. Place the pump into the pond in the desired position, ensuring the pump is positioned horizontally on a firm base, with at least 20 centimeters of water above the top of the casing. Connect the power supply to the pump and check the operation. Now the remote control should be tuned into the receiver unit. Remove the remote control from the box. Press the large blue button on the receiver unit for approximately one second. Then hold down one of the buttons on the remote control for at least three seconds. The remote control should now be able to operate the pump. Check each motor can be switched on and off individually and that the plus and minus buttons alter the flow rate. Set the desired flow rate using the plus and minus buttons. This setting can now be programmed into the receiver unit for instant recall at any time. To set the memory once the desired flow rate has been achieved, press the blue button on the receiver unit for approximately one second. Then press the M0 or M1 button on the remote control for approximately three seconds. To recall this preset flow rate, Press the M0 or M1 button at any time. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden. And remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance. Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment Always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. Remove the pump from the pond, taking care not to pull the electrical cable. Unscrew the outlet connection and any inlet connections and place the pump on a clean, flat surface. Remove the four screws from the top of the strainer casing and remove the top half of the casing. Clean the impeller vanes motor using clean water and a soft brush. Check the impeller spins freely. Remove any blockages. Replace any inlet connections. Then replace the top half of the strainer casing, taking care to route the cable correctly and screw back into place. Reconnect the outlet connection and return the pump to the pond.
Reconnect the power supply and check the operation.